welcome to Freaking Ape Live. My name is Dinesh and we are watching Futurama. The episode 18th of season 2 is called The Problem with Poplars. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do it subscribe because we are only few subscribers away from 10,000 subscribers. And if you want to watch the full length reaction video to this episode and other movies and TV shows that I do, head down to my Patreon. It's a wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my full length reaction videos over there. And I'm, I'm thinking of doing a giveaway on 10,000 subscriber guys. So if you aren't subscribed, hit subscribe and then we'll soon talk about the giveaway too. And if you want to watch the full length reaction video to this episode and other movies and TV shows that I do, you can watch it on Patreon. Wonderful way to support the channel and get early access to all of my full length reaction videos over there. Let's start with this now. Start in three, two, one. Future Off is boom, brought boom. to you by Molten Boron. Nobody doesn't like Molten Boron. Is that lava? What? Is, why are you selling lava? And here it is. Great. We're two days from Earth with no food. Problem solved. You two fight to the death and I'll cook the loser. Work is <laughs> Maybe that planet over Makes there sense. has a drive through A burger jerk or a fishy joe. A burger a jerk? Please don't jerk in my burger. Please don't. I should get a t-shirt saying, please don't jerk in my burger. <laughs> it looks more like a hole full of fried prawns. They look like potatoes. No, popcorn. Hmm. They are KFC chicken popcorn. Well, how are they? Okay, I guess good. Oh, they're great. They're like sex, except I'm having them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sex. Let's bring back a couple of pocketfuls. No, a whole benderful. No, oh, a whole benderful, yes. Need. Stuff the ship. Stuff the ship. The whole ship. You can sell it over here. For a bajillion pounds on eBay. They're tastier than an unguarded penguin nest. What do you call them? We haven't thought of a name yet. Oh, it will be popular. Okay. Tasticles. Taste. Oh. Okay. No. no. We can't call them that. Why not? It sounds too much like those frozen Rocky Mountain oysters. It sounds too much like your balls. It sounds te testicles. Call them what you want. I call them a free meal. <laughs> oh, you love a free meal, don't you? I can't stand idly by while poor people get free food. We gotta sell these things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Get a bajillion pounds. <laughs> Please, don't push. There's hot dogs for everyone. Mm. Where did he get his hot dogs from? Popular Planet? Hey, Matt, where do you want those rat trappings you ordered? <laughs> hey, come on, Bender. You don't have to do that. You're not the guy who delivers the rat droppings. <laughs> the rat droppings. There is a person who drip. Okay. Boys, this is your lucky day. I'm Joe Gilman. Wow. <laughs> You're some Joe. guy who eats at Fishy Joe's? Hell no. He I am Fishy, Fishy Joe. Joe. But these poplars, these are great. How mm -hmm. much you sell them for? A dollar a dozen. You'll never make a money. A dollar a way. dozen. You supply them. In year 3000, that's very less. Hey, restaurants. I'll even pay you a dollar a dozen. Yes, I'm going to be rich. You too, but it's hard to get excited. You're getting about paid that. the same. I Come on, Bender. You can work this out. You are better than this. Lick em, you can chew them. You can stick them if you promise not to sue us. You can shove one up your nose. <laughs> you promise not to sue us. One million poplars served. God dang. That was a weird Oh, shit. Soon that planet will run out of poplars. <laughs> that's the second billboard you crashed into this week. You Sorry. crash, you crash every every episode. Stop before you pop. Eating is murder. Poplars are people too. What the fuck are they on about? The nude loving. Get the hell off. <laughs> you gotta okay. stop harvesting them for food or what? Or will boycott Fishy Joe's? You're vegetarians. Who cares what you do? <laughs> Who cares what you do? You shouldn't eat things that feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You felt pain? Get some more bricks. <laughs> Thank you. Fry, I wish you'd throw out these weak old poplars. They're getting big and scaly. Ooh, there's one left. And it's going to be a living one. <gasps> They can talk in English. The people Stop. were right. Stop eating poplars are intelligent. This one called me Mama. Tender and juicy. I assume Amy is the father. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, Leela. Even if you heard one talk, that doesn't mean it's intelligent. 
I mean, parrots talk and we eat them, right? Yeah. I mean, maybe it just learned fry to talk. Fry talk doesn't mean he's intelligent. Like fry. You know? Like fry. Like fry. Well done. Well done. And only one way to determine if an animal is intelligent. <laughs> Dissect its brain. Golf. No, mama, stop, Grandpa. <gasps> grandpa? Enough chit chat. Oh my god, Grandpa, no. Stop eating poplars. They can talk. Don't stop to talk. Eat poplars. <laughs> Cut it out. Take a coupon. Cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> People, I won't let you enter. Poplars are as intelligent as you or me. You, you are not intelligent at all. <laughs> Fry, please don't call yourself intelligent ever again. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Poplars, stop eating them with honey mustard sauce. Stop eating them with tangy sweet and sour sauce. Stop oh, eating them. You are giving them ideas, Spender. <laughs> you are advertising for it now. Oh, Stop shit. enjoying poplars on the patio, in the car, or on the boat. Bandit, run away. Hiroshima is about to happen. Ah! Please don't eat poplars. Oh, maybe, no, maybe it was not Hiroshima. Eating them. Is it all right to? We have with us the CEO of Fishy Joe's, Mr. Fishy Joseph Gilman. <laughs> Fishy Joseph Gilman. <laughs> Does he really have kings? Captain Taronga Leela. Taronga? That's her name, Philip. Philip? Fishy Joe. Philip? Taronga? Absolutely not, Linda. I don't think anyone's here. Fry's name is Philip. I am. Me too. Listen, Shut up. we're talking about a snack that's low Dude. in fat Shut and up. high in profit. You're crazy, man. He is crazy. There's not even any strong evidence that these poplars are intelligent. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, Leela? That's Lila? not true. Show, her. Show them that. Shut up. Come on. Say mama. Okay, we'll have to bleep that. Look, what? I'm not saying eating meat is <laughs> Why do you gotta bleep it? But eating an intelligent animal is different. Oh, don't force Will you please it. saying shut up, shut up, shut up, please? I mean, the only reason we don't eat people is because it tastes lousy. You're all nuts. Shut up, let me talk. I don't think that's the, that's the right thing to say. These gutter mouth creatures are so smart. Why don't they defend themselves, huh? Stop it! I call murder on that! <laughs> I'm willing to grant that it's murder. The real issue is, who's going to stop me? <laughs> I think that poplar will. Or... Is the poplar mom here? Oh, shit. We seem to be experiencing technical difficulties. And crap like I've never seen. <laughs> uh, never seen? Oh, them! Of the planet Omicron Percy I eight. We have Percy seen them before, haven't they? Yeah. A TV and and they, they watched in uh they watched human TV and and they couldn't find the show or uh, TV of what's gonna happen, so they came to Earth and they killed the president or something. I think they are the same people. Lord, they're back. Queen. Yeah, they are the same people. Doomed. 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 Now then, the creature. Doomed. Have been eating our babies. Oh, yeah. oh no. <coughs> that baby is dead. As you ate our children, so shall you be eaten by us. Thank we you. Will begin I, I thought she, they were just gonna say we're gonna eat your children, but at least then Matt teacher's fine. Oh, uh, what is it you want? We demand. <laughs> We demand to eat one human for each Omicronian that was eaten. Fair enough. Zab Brannigan is the first one. You will provide us with 198 billion humans. And uh, small fries. <laughs> of course. A thought occurs. There aren't that many humans. We're willing to wait a few weeks while you shore up the numbers. <laughs> mm. Few weeks? Eight billion babies in a few weeks. We'll need an army of super virile men scoring round the clock. I'll do my part. Of course, I was. I knew it. It's gonna be like, yeah, Leela, come on. This is our chance. <laughs> Clear the sketch. We choose to eat the first earthling who ate our offspring. Here is the culprit, as photographed by our nanny cam satellite. <laughs> she must be sacrificed, but the rest of you shall be spared. Oh, Leela, you are the only one-eyed person, and you're about to die. <laughs> Medicine cube garden. <laughs> oh shit, they made a show out of it, of course. Get the money. Get the money. An alien eating a human in front of everybody. The world watches in horror as an earthling is. In horror, they are being entertained. Look at that. They paid money for this shit.
imaginable carnage is brought to you by Fishy Joe's. Try our new extreme. And they even got a sponsor. I couldn't even get a sponsor. I don't even eat humans <laughs> or beef. How <laughs> they they get sponsors? I need sponsor guys, please. If somebody wanna sponsor the video, let me know. I'll, I'm looking for it. I'm desperate. The Omicronians. <laughs> Greetings, Earth morsels. You suck. <laughs> Get a job. I have a devious plan. Oh great. Make a fake Leela. Moron has a plan. Why don't you tell it to Wingus and Dingus here? Wingus, Dingus, Dingus. listen up. <laughs> Wingus, Dingus? Yeah. Correct. I found a giant hideous ape that looks exactly like Leela. Hideous ape. Uncanny. Uncanny, it does. You know, this might actually work. The Omicronians seem to have trouble telling one person from another. True. And they're racist. They're, they're human racist. Voila. <laughs> well done. Bingo. That's Perfect. Like that is Leela. <laughs> oh, hungry. Bring on the one called Leela. That comes with salad or soup. Salad. Ranch or vinaigrette. Vinaigrette. Balsamic or raspberry. Shut up, he'll hate, eat you. Okay. Well. Or oh, disintegrate you. Uh, dumb, dumb people. People of Earth. Oh, see, people are here to be entertained. They paid money for this stuff. They paid money for an, to see an alien eat a human. Yes, this is the one. Definitely. I recognize her slumping posture and hairy knuckles. <laughs> slumping posture. <laughs> oh, poor gorilla. Hey, that's too much salt. Would you like some human with your salt? <laughs> this is it. If the aliens fall for Zap's ploy, the Earth will be saved. Wait, everybody knows? By Fishy Joes. Ride the walrus. Still got a sponsor. They have a human dying on national TV. They got a sponsor. Trick! That's not Leela! Oh, fuck off you! <laughs> this is an orangutan! One oh, of no. Earth's most precious creatures! <laughs> Can somebody just shoot this? Hippie. You'd sacrifice a beautiful woman to save a moderately attractive monkey? Very you true. You must have smoked some bad granola. <laughs> Smelly hippie is right. This is a monkey. <laughs> yes, definitely. It still got eaten though. It still got eaten though, you fucking hippie. I realize this may hurt our chances of consummating our relationship. Again. She won't be there anymore. She got eaten. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I'm Jer of the planet Omicron Percy I-8. Could someone lower this thing for me? <laughs> there are many good reasons to eat. Hunger. Boredom. Wanting to be the world's fattest man. But not revenge. Are we no better than they? We I'm all three. Hunger, boredom, and the world trying to be world fattest man, guys. <laughs> Lila's garbled words have opened my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> You still ate a monkey. Well, your wife did. <laughs> okay, that's the start. That's very. Eat him! Please, can somebody just eat him? Come on, join hands. Join hands, please. I'd like to lead you all in some swaying. Come on, pay attention. I said Nobody likes you here. Okay. Is he your friend too? No. No. Ah, this is not happening. <laughs> Ooh, I think there was something funny in that hippie. Of course it was. It's a hippie. I hope you'll always think of me as your mom. When my species grows up, we eat our moms. Whoop. People of Earth! Ooh, that hippie's starting to kick in. <laughs> We've all learned an important lesson. You will feel that in the morning, though. Oh, that... Dude. He's high. He's high. <laughs> He's high. He's high. Anything but themselves. Oh, wait. Let's go. He, he ate a hippie. He got THC in him. <laughs> How much cannabis did the hippie have? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them going like this. Like a 
Dracula. Who wants dolphin? <gasps> dolphin? But dolphins are intelligent. Not this one. He <laughs> blew all his money on instant lottery tickets. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh, that's fine then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. He quit hogging the bottle nose. He tossed me the speech oh, center okay. of the brain. At least. Alrighty, people. That was this episode of Futurama and we get to learn that even in the future there are hippies and even in the future they're still fighting on what we should and should not be eaten. Like if we should eat living things or not. If you're eating another human that is fucking wrong. If you're eating an animal, depends what animal. It still does. Like a dog? No. A cat? No. Chicken? Mm, delicious. So yeah, it just depends what you're eating. I don't know what to say here. <laughs> To be honest, I really don't care of what you eat, like, uh, as long as you are a good human being. I'm not eating dogs and cats, I'm fine with it. I mean, my whole family is veg vegetarian. My mom used to eat chicken and lamb back in the day because they used to live, like, in a really cold environment. So my grandfather always, something like lamb or chicken, so it, you know, to bring up the heat. But over time, my mom became vegetarian, she became really, she became, she's, like, religious and in, in our religion, you're not supposed to eat meat. People do. I do. But that's her thinking. But she, she doesn't say no to me that I shouldn't be eating that. You know, she's okay with it. If I eat it, I eat it. She just says that I can't cook in the kitchen. Uh, I can't cook meat in the kitchen. But I can order it online and get it delivered and eat it over here. I don't know. It's her rules, you know. I don't mind. But uh, yeah. If, I, if I'm out in my own apartment, I would cook it in, over there. But not at my home. You know, not at my parents' home can't do that over here they have their beliefs and i respect their beliefs you know if they they let me eat anything just can't cook it over here so that's fine that's perfect i can live with it but yeah hippies are most of the times like really annoying and i'm glad he got eaten and then the alien became high because it was the hippie was just made out of cannabis he smoked cannabis all his life his skin is filled with thc let me know in the comment section down below if you are vegetarian if you are vegan or do you eat meat and if you are vegan let me know that you know that you are good and that you are a good vegan and when i say good vegan i mean minding your own damn business don't tell other people what they can and cannot eat meanwhile the non-vegetarian non people can't tell you what you can and cannot eat. So live freely and let the, let other people live as well. Don't. It's just the same thing. They're just forcing uh, their beliefs on you. Don't, you know, just don't care. Eat what you want to have. That's all I want to say. And if you want to watch the full-length reaction video, you can watch it on Patreon. That's been it. See you guys tomorrow. I think I'm going to sneeze. Take care, you all. And bye for now. Bye-bye.